Welcome back, my friends. Today, we're going to create a mathematical animation. Um, so let's get started. All right, so this is kind of the end result that I want to achieve. Uh, so what I've done is I've um, placed a chalkboard as my background. I've um, uh, found an easel, and then I've um, put these mathematical equations using numbers, not to waste a lot of time, because I know you guys just want to get down to the nitty gritty of uh, how to do it. Uh, now, the next thing that I want to do is um, a, I want to find a box. Um, and so here's the box that I'm going to use for this animation. I'm going to make a copy of this box and I'm just going to layer it, a sandwich it kind of, um, here, because then I'm going to stick the numbers in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take these numbers, um, and I am just going to make a copy of them, but I'm going to leave them there for a sec. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate them and I'm going to bring them over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, layer them one on top of another like that. And I am going to grab them and just bring them down into the box like that. Okay, and I'm going to push them in the middle. So I'm just going to go to position and I'm going to um, maybe take this and move it up in front. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a duplicate of this page and I'm just going to bring it in front of my title page. So I did create a little title page there. And so here is my, um, a copy of my first page, which is kind of like my master, um, document, which I'm going to get rid of this at the end, but I, I just want to have something to work with where everything was on. Okay. Now, now that I have all my numbers in the box, I'm going to take them and I'm just going to delete them because I no longer need them. So I'm just going to garbage can them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these minus the easel. Uh, oh, let me try that again. And I'm just going to make those transparent. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to position and I'm going to find my two and I am going to grab my two and I'm going to bring it up to here. And I'm going to try and match it up with the, um, and align it to the one. Okay. Now I'm going to make a copy of this page and I'm going to take my two and I'm going to slide it right over here. Okay. I'm going to take a copy of this, a duplicate of this page. And now I'm going to grab my four, which is right here. And I'm going to bring it up to here and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to try and align it uh, with my other numbers on the same uh, line. I'm going to come here and make another duplicate of this page. And I'm going to slide this over here. I'm going to take a duplicate again. And I'm going to uh, grab my one and I'm going to keep going to do the same and I'll be right back. All 
All right, so I finished doing that and um, I'm just gonna make a duplicate of this page again. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, one by one um, increase the transparency for the check marks. So I'm gonna come in here and make another duplicate and I'm on this page and I'm gonna increase the transparency Okay, so now that we have completed the our, our mathematical equations and out of the check marks, the next thing for us to do is to add the um, transitions in between our pages. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to just hover over the between the two pages and we're going to add transition. Uh, just click that diamond um, like that. And we're going to select match and move. So we're going to select match and move. We're going to increase the duration. And we're, you can slide it right up as far as you can. And then you're going to apply it between all pages. Okay. So now let's see what that looks like. We're just going to um, click the play button. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Okay, so what we're going to do is on page two, we're going to just duplicate that page one more time. And we're going to come here and we're just going to del delete that um, two. And let's see what that looks like now. Close that again and let's go back here. Okay, so I think the two is missing from the box. Okay, so when when I look at that, so let's go, let's look at it one more time, okay? So I think the two should have actually started in the box. So I need to get the two back in the box. So I'm just gonna close this, and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna come back here to this slide. And I'm going to shove the two back in there. And I'm going to leave that page the way it is, but I'm going to make a duplicate of it. And then on this page, I'm going to grab the two and I'm going to move it up um, here. So let's see what that looks like now. There, so now it's flowing a little bit better. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I like that. I hope you like that too. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to receive notifications of when new content comes out. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye for now.